Oh, that's actually, Cam walking out the emergency exit after he told me not to. <laughs> He's speeding away. I just want to get it because it's cute. Little village I made with Dollar Tree materials. I am so, so happy with how this turned out. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so cute. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> so today we are going Christmas shopping and I am so excited. But first we're gonna do a little bit of makeup and wear a Christmas sweater or something, but I'm so excited. Christmas is for sure my favorite season and I'm so happy to be celebrating it in our house this year. My parents and sister are coming over next week so I really really want to make it extra special for them. And I know I know you're probably thinking it's kind of late to do Christmas decorations but late is better than never and even just a few Christmas decors will help liven up the place. So today we're going on an adventure to Dollar Tree, Walmart, and honestly we'll just see where the day goes. Wow! She is transformed. Who is she? So we're just gonna change into something red. Yes! Okay, we have a red sweater on. I love it. All the Christmas vibes. It's so cozy. She thinks I didn't get her anything. I definitely did not get you anything. Not yet. Not I'm that. a procrastinator this year. <gasps> We made it to Dollar Tree! So my goal was to buy materials for a Christmas village. I've been seeing this on Pinterest lately and I thought it'd be really, really cute to do a little DIY project. Of course, your girl kept getting distracted. Ooh, this is so cute. Well, I just kept adding and adding more stuff to the cart. Then we met the super nice lady who helped us pick stuff for our little village. She said she designed things for a living and gave us some tips to create this cute snowy village. It was honestly such a wholesome moment. Thank you. Then I saw these punch bowls and thought it'd be a great idea to stack them and create a snowman, so I grabbed all the things I needed for that. Own that shot. Oh. Own that shot. Oh. You can't go outside with it. Oh, fail. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. How many days left for Christmas? Seven days, next week. Holidays, all Christmas of them. Christmas tree, Christmas tree. Do we need a cart? Oh yes, we do. Are you outside? Just in that area right there. Okay. So we got stuck because the way we came in, we couldn't get out because it was an emergency exit, but watch what happens here. It says, don't, don't. Oh, it's open, go, go, go. Oh. Uh. Actually, Cam walking out the emergency exit after he told me not to. Oh, I'm stuck now. Christmas tree, Where are we going? oh. Christmas tree and Santa Claus with pajamas on. The truck? She wants. The most adorable thing I've seen. So, $100 limit, right? Why'd you put it down though? I'm just putting everything I like and then removing after. Okay. A few moments later. I decided to buy the truck. Hmm? Are we here for kettles? I just want to get it because it's cute, but this is the most adorable hand soap pumper. Forget it. <laughs> Go ahead. Scratch and sniff. Is that a scratch? That's a, that's a rub. I can't even smell it. Why are you bringing your finger to your nose? I can't smell this. I think I like this better, so. I'm just going to get okay. this. Look at this. And after an hour of looking around, we finally found our Christmas tree. Next, we needed to find candles for our centerpiece. He's speeding away. Is it gonna fit? I'll shove it in there. I think so. Look, perfect. Look. This one's it. That fits perfectly. How about a Jesus candle? You wanna get a Jesus candle? One. Success! Do you want to build a snowman? Today we're going to be making a snowman with these plastic bowls that I bought from Dollar Tree. I'm going to be putting them outside by the door, so super excited to make it today. So first I glued two bowls to make a sphere and then stacked them all on top of each other. Then I took some white spray paint and did two layers of paint to make the base color of the snowman. 
Then to make a snowman hat, I took some black acrylic paint and did two coats to cover the silver plastic planter we found. Then I used a small paintbrush to add in some details. Look at this sexy snowman with a hat on. So cute! Look at him! So proud with how this snowman turned out. I can safely say that this was definitely less than $10. And I'm so, so happy with how he turned out. He's ready to break some hearts. <laughs> Next on my list was to assemble the Christmas village. I just played around with the placement of the little church and the trees, and once I was happy with that, I added in the little people. Then lastly, I added some fake snow to tie it all together. It was such an easy project, it only took me 5 minutes. Look at this little village I made with Dollar Tree materials. I am so, so happy with how this turned out. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so cute. The little church actually lights up and it's so adorable. And I bought these like little people and there's faux snow here. And this little sign says, welcome to the North Pole. Reindeer stables right there. I got these trees from Walmart. It just fits so well and it's so cute. I decided not to glue anything because I feel like it'd be harder to store everything after the holidays. So this way I can just pick them up and put them in a box. But, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> she's playing in the snow, doing some snow angels in the snow. I honestly had so much fun doing these simple DIYs. It made the place much more Christmassy. And last but not least, Cam and I assembled our first Christmas tree together. It was so much smaller than we thought, but it was still a cute tree. 